Hey guys, welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo, and today, let's talk about a standout moment from the recent Steven Universe episode, Change Your Mind. Of course, I'm talking about the beautifully animated Steven Fusion dance that occurred towards the end of the episode. Now, anybody watching this episode could tell that at that moment, the animation jumped into super high fluid quality. It was, it was insane. And some people out there may be wondering, why? Who did this animation? Why was it so good? Well, today we're going to talk about that story, and the story centers on a man named James Baxter. If you don't know who James Baxter is, you must not be familiar with animation because this man is truly a legend and I mean absolutely legendary this man has animated classic scenes from films such as Beauty and the Beast the Little Mermaid the Lion King the Hunchback of Notre Dame who framed Roger Rabbit Shrek 2 the list goes on he truly has one of the most impressive resumes in all of animation so how did this guy who did amazing animation for theatrical Disney Renaissance films get to animate a scene from Steven Universe well it turns out James is not shy to doing television cameo work notably he had a pretty obvious cameo in Adventure Time, playing a horse named James Baxter. The character was obviously meant to be him and was written by Pendleton Ward after James came to him and asked him if he needed any additional animation work done, saying that he wanted to help out on the show. Ward remembered when James was a guest speaker at Cal Arts, the school he attended. While he was there, somebody asked James to draw a picture of a horse on a beach ball. This stuck with Pendleton, and so when James came to him asking if he needed any help, this is the first thing that popped in his head. A horse on a beach ball named James Baxter. James did all the animation for James Baxter the horse himself in his home studio which is extremely unconventional for this type of animation. And he even voiced James Baxter the horse, so he just went all out. But he apparently even did some pencil animation for Gravity Falls, specifically Dipper's part in the theme song. Looking back on the scene with this information, it makes sense why this Dipper scene is so fluidly animated and it just looks so great. James Baxter is just amazing. But despite all this, his story of how he got on Steven Universe is the craziest. According to Rebecca Sugar on a recent episode of the Steven Universe podcast, Rebecca knew James for years after working on Adventure Time and just knowing him as an animation legend. Back in 2014, he actually asked Rebecca to do a drawing for his daughter's birthday party. He's legendary. And so he asked if I would draw something for his daughter. And I said, of course. And I dr we drove it over and I went to her birthday party and I gave her this drawing. I yeah. believe it was of Rose Quartz and Steven. Mm -hmm. And he was like, cool, I owe you a favor. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to hold on to this for something that needs to be really, really special. And Rebecca Sugar hung on to this for years, waiting for the perfect moment to use James Baxter's animation talents in her own show. According to her, I mean, this is the fusion dance of the show. Yeah. And it's part of the princess gauntlet. It's part of mm -hmm. everything. Stephen experiencing every sort of major Disney royalty trope that can happen. And so the ultimate thing has got to be a dance with a big rotation yeah. by James Baxter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's in there. And again, James Baxter did all of this by himself, by hand. This man drew this. Look at this. He drew this. This is insane. Well, there you go, guys. Now you know why that seed in Steven Universe looked so beautiful. If only we could have the entire series drawn by James Baxter, but I truly don't think that that man can survive. Also, one last James Baxter fact. According to this one website, he has a net worth of $43 million, which I don't know if that's true, but if it is, good for you, James, buddy. Get that bread. It makes me wonder what James is going to guest animate next. And so I'll turn the question to you. What do you guys think? Could it be Star? Maybe Steven Universe season six? Let me know in those comments down below. As always, if you want to consider helping out the roundtable, you can check us out on Patreon or become a member of the channel. There you can get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, share it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things animation, guys. I'm Retro Nemo. This was a cartoon fact video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.